surface for this corner, as you can see, is MDF. I guess what's in it. Right, there we go. Right, track has been lifted. Here is offending items. Points, absolutely fine. It really does pay to not overballast your points. There we go. Certain bits of flexi track, they're okay. They can be replaced if needed. There's the offending short pieces and the sectional track destroyed, never to be used again. Also, it shows Mr. Lazy couldn't be bothered to paint the baseboard before he laid the track. This was fine on the normal track, but showed up under the points where it wasn't ballasted properly. So there we go, make the effort. Right, don't worry, there's the points, absolutely fine. There's the flexi track, virtually fine. There's all the ballast. Absolutely usable again. No wastage. There we go. Look at that. Fine. A few loose sleepers in the bottom. We'll pick that out. That's fine. Here we go. Look at that. That is a Dyson. Other bagless hoovers are available. Just, I've found it. For the way I do things, I found it absolutely perfect for hoovering up mistakes and saving money by reusing items. Um, obviously, if you do do this, make sure you get all the little pins and nails out because the last thing you want to do is glue one of them down upside down and end up impaling one of your £120 locos as it flies around the corner, not really knowing where it's going. Not ideal. Nothing like having your undercarriage ripped out of an evening. Right, I'm now going to attempt to relay this and uh, show you how it goes. I'm going to take my time. I've stripped it back pretty vigorously. I found I've made a few mistakes on this. I'm just going to turn this whole layout into a teaching layout, I think. See how it goes. See how many likes I get. If everybody hates my videos, I won't bother. And I'll just carry on making mistakes on my own. But the idea is to make mistakes and show you that I've made them. Therefore, I can put them right and show you not to do them. It's a little less nerdy, a little bit more practical. I think for those of us that enjoy playing with our toys rather than having them on shelves, you need somebody to make mistakes to show you why you need to listen to the nerds because they know what they're talking about. Right, I'm going to pause this video and see how I get on. I will be back shortly.